Yo, 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 what up everybody, it's your boy Jinx, and I'm bringing you guys the final showcase that I'm going to be doing for the city. So, as you guys know, patch updates don't go on to the new seeds that you do for Minecraft. I actually didn't know that. Uh, I recently just found that out, so that's why I am making this the final showcase, because I'm not going to be doing anything on to uh, the city anymore. Um, I'm actually working, I'm just playing um, some Minecraft. I'm playing actually a lot of games. I'm playing Minecraft, I'm playing... Uh, Metro and other games like that, so uh, I'm mainly playing Minecraft. I'm just doing a little bit of survival. Uh, I have a little survival map going, but anyway, that's not the point of this video. To the city, guys. Um, like I said, so I won't be doing any anymore on the city. I'm gonna show you guys what I have so far, and that's it. I'm not gonna delete the city. It's gonna still stay on my hard drive, but I'm not gonna do anything on it. So let's get down into it. So. What I have made, uh, I've actually made a lot of things, as you guys can t really tell. Um, so this is the village. Um, I'm, I made the village to come in so everybody can just trade. Trade with the villagers and whatnot. Um, I made some uh, iron golems so, uh, so the villagers are actually safe, because I had the village run down at least three times, I think. Um... But uh, other than that, I think the village is going good. We got a blacksmith, we got a library, we got everybody here. Uh, seem to be all all bunched up in a couple of houses here. But anyway, that's the village. Just a little uh, square block here. Uh, I made the fence go around the whole city here. It goes all the way around the, this big ass forest and this big hill. Uh, the, the big forest here, it's called uh, Pumpkin Forest. I, that's what I named it. And uh, we'll go to this hill right here. This is uh, Ender Hill. Uh, this statue right here is actually uh, based from a real life statue. It's uh, the statue in Rio de Janeiro, uh, Brazil. I forget the statue's name. Uh, damn it. Uh, if you guys Google it, it'll definitely come up. That's what the statue is, though. It's uh, overlooking the city pretty much with his uh, hands out, like blessing the city. But uh, that's it. And we got a little uh, tourist uh, gavel in here that bring you up there. Um, I cleaned all of this area out. And then from over here, this right here, this little building right here, this is actually a spawner. It's a zombie spawner. And right here, this big area, this big, big, big open area, I was going to fence it all in and make like a, a big, big border thing. I don't know what I was going to exactly do, but I was going to do something really fancy. And I started cleaning all of this up, and as you guys can see, I stopped. Because I kind of just, I found that out, and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to do anything else on my city anymore. So, um, this is uh, Lexi's in Panda's house. I think I remember showcasing that once on episode 3. But, uh... There's a road there that I made, and all of that was going to be, I was going to make a big, big tower here, but, uh, on to some more buildings here. This was the nether spawn, or the, <laughs> the nether spawn, the nether portal. Over here, it was, uh, it was, like, pretty much just the place where you can go and get rid of your stuff. Uh, you come here and make what's called sacrifices. As you guys know, this was a roleplay city, so you guys can come here and just throw your stuff in here that you didn't want and call it sacrifices. Um, as you guys know, this isn't new. This is uh, the wood farm thing. As you guys can see, too, I put roads, like I named the roads. All of the roads are named. Uh, this is uh, like a an arena, the other arena that I did make. Uh, I did update the other arena too that I, like I was gonna say I was. I'll, I'll show you guys in a second. But this is the uh, the one arena that I made. I kinda made it like a Roman Colosseum. And um, here's the bank. I might as well show you guys this. I wasn't gonna show you this because this was my secret way of getting into the bank. But this is what I made for a secret way. If you guys uh, like it you guys are free to use it, I don't care. But it's an it's a nice little mechanism if you want to have your own secret area in your own house or something like that. Make a tree, 
fill it all in, make a hollow so you can go into it, and yeah, voila. You got yourself a little secret area. Uh, these chests were going to be for like individual people, for your chest, uh, if you wanted to store your stuff there, or for me to put your emeralds. So uh, this switch right here was the main switch. I'll show you guys what that switch does in a main, like right now. So down here is the safe, where I was going to put all the city's goods and whatnot. As you guys can see, the pressure plates don't work. But if you go upstairs and hit that switch that I just showed you, the pressure plates will work. Um, I really don't feel like doing that. I'm trying to cut time right here because YouTube is really, really picky on time. So that's that. And I made a little minecart system here. Um, the upstairs, the mine or the bank is uh, pretty much the same still. If you guys want to go see it, uh, check out video two. I do believe that is it. Um, outside of the Roman Coliseum, this was all like just nasty green and whatnot. I put this big garden here, and I put the iron golem here because, as you guys can see, stuff does like to spawn. Um, I made this uh, little park. This is the jail. I did, I did very, 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 very well update the jail a lot. Um, if you guys wanted to see the difference, you guys can go check it out. I think the jail is showcased in video two, maybe one. I'm not sure, but uh, this is what I have made so far of it. The upstairs is not done. That little room right there was going to be like a holding cell. This one right here. Uh, these rooms are... I don't even know what I was going to make up here to be honest. But that's that up there. Uh, we'll go through these doors. Right here was going to be like inmate releasing to go. Uh, so this way right here is to the cells in the basement and then to the yard. And then this way right here is to the guards towers. So we'll go check out the guards towers real quick door will let me go through so it just brings you pretty much on the other side of the fence of uh, of the actual yard and then so on that side you can just go up from here and go into the uh, watchtowers so that being said we'll just go in through these doors it this is like the other hallway from those other doors as you got right here see just go through and blah blah blah, blah yeah but uh as you guys that's the other, that's the uh, yard. I'm rambling on a lot, guys. I'm very tired right now. So, this was going to be another, uh, right, these three rooms right here are death rooms, pretty much. Uh, I was going to make, I don't even know which one I was going to make here. This one's a lava one. I changed it up a bit. Uh, somebody goes in there, sits in the room, you shut the door, and that whole thing goes down right there. And as you guys know, you can't jump up two blocks, so they would be stuck in lava. And in this one, this was going to be like a bomb one. So uh, I give you a redstone torch. Uh, you go inside. You have two options. You can either jump in the lava. Or I would uh, pre-already put a TNT block here. So you can just run in, put the, put the redstone torch there, and uh, finish your days. But I'll just put that back there. And uh, yes, the cells. So as you guys can see, all oh, the lights are on, so yeah, I made adjustable lights, you can turn the lights on and off, I put lights in the cells, but yes, it's a very nice, uh, very nice gel system I made, I like it. A lot of levers though, I wish I could minimize the levers, but it's, it's whatever man. It's my first actual jail build, I'll, I will definitely build a lot more better stuff. I do plan on building another city, and I'm going to be building it on survival mode this time. This one was on creative. I'm going to actually build my next one on survival. So it's going to be a little fun. And I do have a date for you. I'm just going to stop walking for a second right now, guys. Because I'm going to chat it up for a little bit with you guys. So uh, I figured out a time when I can actually come back to stream. And I am coming back. I will be on Xbox One. Um, probably you can expect me around January, February time. That don't key me on that time, like it can very, very well change. Uh, you can keep up to date with me on Twitter, just go and follow me. Uh, you can chat it up with me. I always reply to everybody. I don't have internet, so it might take me a little bit to reply to you, but I will get to you. 
But uh, let's get going here. So we're kind of cutting for time a little bit. 11 minutes is, well, it's not really quite 11 minutes, I don't think yet. But uh, I cleaned all this up a little bit. This <laughs> this was a lot to clean up, let me tell you. But uh, I made properties. I like this property. This property was going to be uh, a nice property for me to build. I was going to build a nice house on this property for somebody. It's a nice snowy property. It's all snow, this property. Oh, anyway. That's not the point of this video. Um, what other build? Oh, the the other arena. I wanted to show, oh the beach too. Yes, but we'll get to the beach. I want to show you guys this arena. So we have this arena. Let's uh, just check it out. So as you guys know, I had one sword. I took out the one sword. I had no swords, and then I put the two swords back, and I extended the front out, and I add flames. But that's the front of it so far, and when we go inside, I very well changed it a lot. As you guys can see, this whole thing was completely one level still. It was all still right here, and I had it dip down right here with just glass all the way around right here. So I made it dip all the way down, so you can get a better view of the fight. Um, I might copy a little bit of these builds and put them back in the uh, the town that I do build on survival. But anyway, uh, to get in, you just pretty much jump the fence, and to get out, somebody just stands on this pressure plate, and the bars over there and the doors open up. Uh, that that system right there for the door took me a while to make. Um, I might make a video on that or something, like a little side video. I do not know. Probably not. I don't really have the time for that. Um, but this is the beach, guys. I made like a little stone walk. I, People call boardwalk along the beach, but this is obviously a stone walk. It's not boards, but uh, it extends all the way out to the beach too. And uh, that's pretty much it of the beach. It just extends all the way around. And I think that's pretty much it of that you guys know of. I didn't really do too much else. Um, I think you guys seen the funny farm, the little slaying rooms that I made. You just go in here, you uh, you see them. Sorry guys, it's really hard for me to do that. I'm just going to take out the doors. For me, it's really hard to hit blocks right now because I don't have crosshairs. So. But yeah, you see that uh, they're there. But you can slay them out when you want. Um, yeah, nothing else really too much changed. I didn't add too, too much. Um, this was going to be the career room. I was going to put all the career supplies in here. Upstairs was going to be where all the supplies were showcased along this wall on, uh, on signs. Um, I do not know. There's nothing really else for me to show you guys. I, I, I didn't do a whole lot, but it was, it, it felt like I did a lot. But I did this to my house too as well. I might as well go show you guys this. But I made this for my house because I thought horses and stuff were going to come for the seeds. But apparently they don't. So obviously that you can tell this spot was going to be for my horse. And I got my little piggy here. Chuckles the silly piggy I called him. And he got his little saddle. And he, he has his boyfriend. <laughs> oh fuck. Anyway. Thanks for watching guys. If you liked it, make sure uh, you drop that follow on my Twitter, on me Twitter. Subscribe to the YouTube. Make sure you guys like it. Make sure you guys like the video. Uh, dislike it if you like it. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> Sadly to say. But uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like again, follow the Twitter. Chat it up with me. It's your boy Jinxki, guys, and I'll wave to you with my iron door. Peace, everybody.